It's been quite a few days since my last vlog, so I've got quite a few things to get through in this one. We've been to see a couple of dance shows. There was a flamenco presentation. I wasn't able to take any video or photos of the actual dance. It was quite impressive, but I did get a bit of the post-show Q&A um, with the lead dancer, a, a lady from Spain. Uh, she also had, I think, three musicians with her who didn't take part in the Q&A. She answered an interesting question about doing the dance on her own that a lot of people are used to seeing flamenco dancers in pairs. He said, look, partly it's the GFC and the lack of funds available and so you just can't afford couples anymore and you get a lot more of flamenco being done individually. She was the only dancer there. We also went to see a uh, Pacific Islander, sort of Polynesian dance, Easter Island, uh, Tahiti. One of Denise's friends was dancing in that. It was quite nice. Um, again, wasn't able to take many photos or videos of the actual dance. It was also quite dark, but uh, it was done in a uh, Spanish themed location and the toilets were quite nice. I'll try and include a photo of the men's and women's um, with a sort of matador and uh, flamenco dancer as the man and the woman. And we also went to see one of Denise's other friends take part in, it was a bit of an abstract dance. Um, I don't really understand the, the contemporary art style, you know, it's all take your shoes off, walk through the, the tunnel of dreams and, and make a wish and everyone's naked and the lights are, are off and then they dance and it's like a, a nightclub and there's blow sticks. I, I don't understand that, that sort of thing, unfortunately it's not my thing. Uh, I've, I've had the chance to eat some completos, uh, I, I really do enjoy the ones here, it's like a South American hot dog, but it comes with, with everything, hence the name completo. I finally got my ID card back, I was supposed to get it on Friday of last week, I was told I would get an email telling me to come pick it up, didn't get it on Friday, didn't get an email on Monday. Didn't get an email on Tuesday, I just went in and they had it ready for me to pick up a week after I'd gone in to ask for a replacement so I finally can leave the house without my passport. Uh, also meant that I could go and finally get a mobile phone plan for my SIM card that I had because you need your ID card for that. Interestingly, that is the first time in my life I've ever completed a transaction in a shop and the uh, attendant has said goodbye with a kiss, which was quite nice, I, I did enjoy that quite a bit. Uh, later that day I also went on my first bike ride in Chile, so I've uh, gotten a one month subscription to the bike hire, sort of the bike share system here, it's the bright orange bikes. Um, went for a bit of a ride from the city centre out to our place um, late at night. I'm still trying to get used to the recycling system here. In Australia you've got your rubbish bin, your recycling bin, just throw all your recycling in the recycling bin. Here you've got to go outside, we go to the uh, nearby park and they've got about five different bins so you've actually got to sort it yourself and make sure that you put your plastics, your aluminiums, your metals, your glass in each of the different ones and certain types of plastic or certain types of cardboard you can't recycle so I accidentally recycled some egg cartons, big no-no, don't do that. I also discovered that apparently the most stressful thing that Denise and I can do together is go grocery shopping. She loves cooking, she's very passionate about food. Um, and for me, it's just a bit of a process, you know, you, you cook to eat, you eat to live. So she got a little bit frustrated when I would say, yeah, that, that, okay, yeah, that's fine. You know, not, not really putting too much effort into it. Apparently I managed to make that all better by making her a salad the other day. Um, we, I told her that I needed to buy the iceberg lettuce to make it, which is the only type of lettuce she doesn't buy. Made her a salad, uh, took it to her for her lunch break. Uh, she really liked it and apparently all is now good because uh, I made her uh, one salad. Today, um, Denise took me out for a surprise lunch. We took a taxi down to a pancake place. Um, what I had forgotten is that it was a year ago today that uh, Pancakes at the Rocks in, back in Sydney, we had a quick conversation about trying to make this whole long distance relationship work. Uh, she remembered the date, I'd actually forgotten it, but it made for a really nice surprise and it was really sweet and, uh, and kind of her to do that. So that was really nice. Um, this weekend we are going off to Tongoy, which is a, a beach town about five hours from, from Santiago. I'll see if I can do one more of these updates between now and then. Um, if not, the next time I see you will be from the 
sort of central north coast of Chile. Till then, I'll see you all later. <laughs>